well, you have expansive knowledge of physiology. Why don't we start with uh, calories? Does, I mean, the hu human body understands nutrients, yeah. um, hormones. Does the human body understand calories? No, um, not at all. In fact, if uh, by way by, by by understand, if you mean do calories play an important role in determining someone's body composition, then the answer has to be a qualified no. And the qualification is that people often use the word calorie to refer to energy. Mm -hmm. Now, a calorie is a measurable phenomenon. It has an absolutely explicit, absolutely clear scientific operational definition. There is no question what a calorie is. Energy, on the other hand, is a construct. It's an idea. It's a concept. It cannot in and of itself be measured or gauged. Um, there is, in fact, no externally valid, verifiable scientific operational definition of what energy even is, other than people in the know will say energy is the motive force to achieve work. And then you, you start chasing that, that rabbit hole and you go, okay, great, what's force? what's work all of those things have circular definitions that lead you back to the same place this is not something that we can get at objectively it's an idea on the other hand a calorie does have that definition it is the change in temperature of a water bath of a certain volume starting at a set temperature in the first place under the influence of rapidly combusting a sample of something inside a closed thermodynamic system known as a bomb calorimeter. And that's what you get. You, you, you put a large electrical current through the sample of whatever you're combusting. You rapidly vaporize that completely to um, carbon dioxide, water, and a bit of ash. And you get this release of photons, which are what? makes up what heat is, they are photons. Those photons go out from the point of that combustion. They encounter the walls of the bomb calorimeter. They excite the walls of the bomb calorimeter. Then the bomb calorimeter gets excited by that and it passes on some photons, which then heat the water. So a calorie is um, the the change in temperature of that water bath caused by those photons. Okay. Your body composition is made up of matter. It's made up of mass, actual physical stuff. Now, I get that there's a question as to whether physical stuff even exists. That's for another day. Let's just assume it does. What we do know is that the exact mass of a photon, the rest mass of a photon, is none at all, zero mass. So you cannot get fat by absorbing photons. If you could, we could go and lie in the sun and become obese. We don't do that, do we? No. Your body composition is a mass balance activity. It's the balance of mass taken in, in various forms, water, protein, fats, carbohydrates, mass stored, proteins, minerals, carbohydrates, fats, water, and your body composition, ergo your weight, your mass, if you like, your total mass, is a mass balance issue, not an energy balance issue. The form of energy that humans use for metabolism is chemical, not heat. So calories as a, a gauge on energy intake, storage, or utilization by the human body, totally inappropriate. 
Sure, heat and chemical energy are different forms of energy. One is kinetic, heat. The other is potential, chemical. And you can change energy from one form to another, absolutely, as per thermodynamics. We understand that. However, your body can only use chemical energy for metabolic process. We cannot encapsulate heat and use that. It's like going into a shop in the UK with New Zealand dollars and, and throwing them your New Zealand dollars across the counter and saying, sell me a bottle of water, for example. They will say, well, no, sir, that's not money here. I say, well, it's money. Yes, sure, it's a form of money, but not here. And that's what we're talking about. It's, it's conceptual. It's, it's, um, so that's, I know, very long-winded, but basically that gets to the full detail of it. Calories do not gauge or even get close to approximating what goes on energetically in a human body. So we're done with calories. They're, they're useless. <laughs> Yeah, that's the calorie, uh, calories in, calories out, completely debunked in uh, literally two minutes. And that was, that was, uh, that's one explanation I haven't heard before. So it was beautiful to combine chemistry there. So no one mm. ever talks of it, right? And I think mm. people are just um, uh, using calories to mean energy, but you explained. Yes. It, but it energy doesn't mean anything, anything either. Oh, yeah. well, there you go. Mm.